On today's show, we talk about LSU's victory in Jerry World. Seth Hewlin joins the show to discuss the Super Bowl, and we welcome the NFL back. Finally, football is here! All this and more coming up on Tiger TV's newest show, Cold Pizza, and it starts right now. Pizza might be cold from the weekend, but we're here to warm it up. Welcome to the first ever episode of Cold Pizza. How are we doing today, Tiger Nation? And welcome to the first ever episode of Cold Pizza, a show that will review the past week's top plays and most controversial headlines in the sports world. I'm Bat Brunner here with my co-anchor, Derek Kopp. Good to have Hello, you back, sir. buddy. How was the weekend? You know, whenever the Tigers play like they did over the weekend, it's, it's, got, it's always good. It's got to be, man. Well, I mean, they just looked great this weekend. I'll tell you what, I did not expect that great. No, no, but, you know, enough chitter-chatter. Now let's get back to it, Bat. Even with all the great games over opening weekend, all eyes went on LSU in prime time as they took on the TCU Horned Frogs at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Now, Derek, you were in Texas. Yes. You were there at the game. I'm mad at you I didn't see you. So <laughs> let me go ahead and say that. But let me allow to ask you first off. What was your perspective from that game? I mean, honestly, it was unbelievable. I mean, the game was great, but I, 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 it was a little bit nerve-wracking. But the stadium, it's really hard not to marvel at that. I mean, you know, he, he spent it, Jerry spent his money very well. $1.3 billion, to be exact. <laughs> not surprised. Well, after watching the 37-27 victory, what are your first impressions of the LSU fighting Tigers? Though? You know, they looked good. I liked them. You know, the defense, that was our one question mark. And, you know, it's still a question mark going into week two. I mean, we could have done a little bit more. But, I mean, Ken Cameron, he made a real difference. That right. offense looked great. You saw reverses out of Odell. You saw a lot. You saw Mettenberg actually throw the ball. He he just, if Odell could have just caught it. Two times, man. Two times. Great Things touchdown passes. Amazing. But, I mean, in the running game, what do you think of that? Oh, man, it was great. I mean, Terrence McGee knew when to, stand, when to show up, come up to the plate, because they didn't want to play Jeremy Hill just yet. I can understand that. I think he got off a little light as it was. But Terrence McGee came up, did well. The rest of the team did well. We're starting to throw it 20 yards downfield. Not to mention, we scored 37 points on the best team in the Big 12 last year. They returned eight of their 11 defensive starters. But with our defense, I mean, you cannot take away. We, still, we are still DBU. Still got an interception. We still got Jalen Mills, Jalen Collins. I think that, that, that secondary is going to carry that defense freshman this year. Up to the plate. That is unbelievable. But all that being said, though, what are you looking forward to seeing the Tigers do significantly in, into their inferior opponent, UAB? Uh, I want them to start establishing this defense. They want to start moving these freshmen in. They want to see Kendall Beckwith. I want to see Kendall Beckwith. I want to see Kendall This guy was the preseason high school uh, number one athlete on ESPN 300 two years ago when he, you know, when he was a senior. Kid looks great. I think he'll step up to the plate. I want to see Kenny, uh, I want to see <laughs> Barrow. I want to see him play middle linebacker. We'll see where we can go from there. But these next three weeks, we have the opportunity to see where our defense can and, go from I mean, there. you can't forget, this is the weekend. We're going to see whether or not Jeremy Hill is going to be on that field. That's I mean, true. this is this is Les Miles' decision. But, I mean, also on the offensive side, I cannot wait to see if Menberg, I mean, if he did that well against TCU, and that was a good secondary. That had an All-American all secondary. And now you're going against UAB. I mean, right now I think the spread's at like 35. I could, I would not be surprised. I think LSU, if they don't put up at least 45, I'll take it. it's a bad game. I'll it's take a bad it. game. But I mean, we just cannot have another town. No. That's and, bottom line. And you know, Zach was 16 for 32, but the, don't let the stats fool you there. He looked great. His accuracy oh. came out of nowhere, to be honest with you. But now, Derek, isn't it just great to have football back in the air? And what an opening weekend we had besides the LSU TCU game. We had games all over the country. We had Clemson getting the best of Georgia. Florida State, they don't have to worry about EJ Manuel being gone anymore. Teddy Bridgewater showed off against Ohio and of course the walking tabloid story Johnny Manziel picking right off where he left in the, uh, in the second half against Rice. Man, yeah well I mean you know, it really was an outstanding weekend but probably the best that college football has had in a while. I mean that was a great opening weekend great. but with every opening weekend comes the major upsets. I mean you saw K-State falling to North Dakota State in Bill Schneider's house. That is literally named after him. Or how about you got Oregon State, the Beavers. They fell to Eastern Washington home. I mean, I know, I know, I mean, they might, they might have won last year, but that is still dominating. And I mean, right now you got Teddy Bridgewater, that first weekend, I mean, unbelievable. Making the early Heisman case for himself. You're talking about a guy who can sling the ball. 355 yards, five touchdowns. I understand it was Ohio, blah, blah, blah. He is still right. an amazing quarterback. Right. And let's talk about Jadavian Clowney now. He took a couple snaps off, but let's be honest here. That guy is a hoss right there. Oh. He went to town sometimes. He, he, 
I remember one time there was a guy who ducked and he went right over him. He would have taken his head off if that guy wouldn't have done that. I mean, no, I understand the entire taking a couple plays off, but that guy's tired with the pace that he goes. Well, I mean, and like they said, it was it was a very humid night in South Carolina. The, the conditions were not in his favor. They so, I mean, it, you can give him a break, but, I mean, also you look at this play. I mean, he gets cheap shot it right here. That's a clipping call. Yeah, I mean, he, with the camera on him this year, he really has to watch out for that because, I mean, being the, the possible number one pick, there, there comes a lot of pressure. And I... He doesn't have to deal with that this year. That's true, man. Well, coming up after the break, our very own Seth Hewlin gives us an in-depth preview of the NFL season and his pick for the Super Bowl. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. How far will five bucks get you? On the L.A. Swift, five bucks will get you from Baton Rouge to Gonzales and Sorrento to Laplace, Kinner, all the way to New Orleans. Travel on a clean, comfortable coach with free Wi-Fi and onboard TVs. L.A. Swift, Louisiana on the move. Live bigger, live better at Summer Grove and Arlington Trace townhome style condos with one, two, and three bedroom units available. Summer Grove and Arlington Trace are less than a mile away at 2403 Brightside Drive and on the LSU bus route. Summer Grove and Arlington Trace townhome style condos are spacious and come with a washer and dryer, central air and a gated community, and have security systems. Summer Grove and Arlington Trace have it all with a fitness facility, movie room equipped clubhouse, and resort style pool. Move in and win specials and monthly giveaways for tenants. For more information, call 636-5525 or visit summergrovebr.com. This segment of the news brought to you by Louis Cafe at the North Gate since 1941. And now we take you live to somewhere. I'm here with Miss Henny Penny. Miss Penny, did you know that Louis Cafe uses eggs from the LSU Ag Center poultry unit? <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Henny Penny. Now back to you guys at the studio. Uh, oh, yes, thank you. We're out of time. Stay classy. Louis Cafe, open 24 hours, now taking Tiger Cash. will five bucks get you on the la swift five bucks will get you from baton rouge to gonzalez and sorrento to laplace kinner all the way to new orleans travel on a clean comfortable coach with free wi-fi and onboard tvs la swift louisiana on the move <laughs> back to the show in this week's edition of Back It Up, a segment where these guys and I take a look at the hottest topics in sports, give you our opinion, and back it up. Now guys, we're about 24 hours away from kickoff, and uh, boy, I can't remember another season I've been more excited about. Got the quarterback carousel spinning around in the offseason, as usual. You got some sophomore quarterbacks coming in, looking to really make a name for themselves. Uh, technically, you can lay your bets at any point in the season for your Super Bowl picks, uh, but I think it's always more fun to pick before the season starts. Of course. Right now, the wise guys in Vegas have 6-1 to one odds of the Broncos taking home the trophy. Uh, after that, in order, they have the San Francisco 49ers, Seattle Seahawks, New England Patriots, and Atlanta Falcons. Wow. Denver's heading into their second season with Manning and under center, and they, it looks like they're going to improve. Let's not forget they were a punt-like heave by Joe Flacco away from a Super Bowl appearance last season. With the acquisition of Wes Welker, the Broncos' offense looks almost unstoppable. A lot of people questioned Harbaugh when he made his quarterback switch in San Francisco last season. Alex Smith took them to an NFC, NFC title after all, but Kaepernick took them to a Super Bowl. Now he looks to start his first season and repeat the feat, and, but they've got to come through one of the best divisions in the NFL, it looks like. Speaking of the NFC West, Seattle, and the Legion of Boom, man, I love the secondary. These boys play fast, they hit hard, and they get turnovers. With Russell Wilson coming back, they pick up right where they left off on offense. Now the key for them will be taking that next step, putting it all together, and making a deep run in the playoffs. Uh, no stranger to deep runs in the playoffs, the Patriots are perennial contenders, and no one is expecting that to change. Steven Ridley presents someone who, can, who they can trust and as an every down back and really carry the mail for him. And uh, Belichick and Brady will have this team humming come December, as they always do in Super Bowl or bust in New England. And uh, in Atlanta, you talk about defensive side of the ball, you talk about hard hits, but they do add Steven Jackson, an elite running game to that offense, and their wide receiving core is unbelievable. One of the best in the NFL. Tony Gonzalez is coming back for one last Super Bowl run. Expect him to be hungry for a trophy. Now, after all is said and done, though, Seth, who is your pick 
to finally win that and bring home that Lombardi trophy? I gotta go with the Patriots. Uh, Tom Brady is a perennial all-star. He always has that team up and running. Somebody like Belichick at the helm doesn't look like they're gonna lose anytime soon. Now, do you think losing Wes Welker though and having Dan Danny Amendola, do you think he can fill that role? Hey, new name, same players. They just plug and play in New England. That's all they do. They'll be able to overcome not having that two tight end offense anymore. Well, I, I, people say that. I think Danny Amendola is going to come through in the slot uh, really well, and that running game is looking to improve. Great. Well, Derek, what about you? I want to know about your Super Bowl <laughs> pick, big guy. Now, this might be biased a little bit, but I yeah, am going to go with the Packers. I mean, I still, I still contend that he, that Aaron Rodgers is the premier quarterback. I mean, I think he, he just has the arm. He has everything that you want in a star. At defense, we got Deontay Jones out of the draft. I mean, AJ no, Hawk, no, Clay Derek, Matthews. Derek, that I, is a tough division. You're playing the Lions, the Vikings, and the Bears. Now, oh I will, my. I I will, come through there. I, I will take the Vikings. I'll take the Vikings in two. The Bears, that's always a tough series. And the Purple People Eaters, Greg Jennings, that's just bitter now. That's a bitter rivalry. Like it's going mean, to be, gonna, be tough. How about you, though? I mean, I can only tell you I hope that your defense does well because <laughs> I have them on three of my four fantasy teams. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. And this one's going to hurt you right here. I'm going with the Broncos, oh. all right? How can you not think that they're going to do it? I'm sorry to everybody else in the – who's doing the power rankings, chose them before, uh, after me. Tell you what, I've been saying this since they picked up Wes Welker, and that team is stout. All right, they have Peyton Manning at their quarterback, as their quarterback. Let's be honest, he's the best. Think he can stay he healthy, is though, the best. Do you think he can stay healthy? Oh, he'll stay healthy. Don't you worry about that. Is, is, losing, is losing Von Miller as big as I think it's going to be? I mean, that is the leader yes. of I'm, your I'm defense. I'm not worried. Uh, Von Miller will be gone for six pro. games. He'll be gone for six. He'll That's be gone for sacks. six games, That's but a lot of sacks Peyton Manning will be, he has the most diverse wide receiver skill set, and he's going to take it to the house. But if he doesn't have remember Demarius this, Thomas, remember this he's now. going. <laughs> remember this now. Defense wins championships. All right, I Defense understand. Defense wins that. championships. Well, thank you, Seth. And coming up after our break, Derek and I are going to pick our winners for this year's major sports and check out a ball in Spider-Man you won't want to miss. How far will five bucks get you? On the L.A. Swift, five bucks will get you from Baton Rouge to Gonzales and Sorrento to Laplace, Kinner, all the way to New Orleans. Travel on a clean, comfortable coach with free Wi-Fi and onboard TVs. L.A. Swift, Louisiana on the move. Live bigger, live better at Summer Grove and Arlington Trace townhome style condos with one, two, and three bedroom units available. Summer Grove and Arlington Trace are less than a mile away at 2403 Brightside Drive and on the LSU bus route. Summer Grove and Arlington Trace townhome style condos are spacious and come with a washer and dryer, central air and a gated community, and have security systems. Summer Grove and Arlington Trace have it all with a fitness facility, movie room equipped clubhouse, and resort style pool. Move in and win specials and monthly giveaways for tenants. For more information, call 636-5525 or visit summergrovebr.com. This segment of the news brought to you by Louis Cafe at the North Gate since 1941. And now we take you live to somewhere. I'm here with Miss Henny Penny. Miss Penny, did you know that Louis Cafe uses eggs from the LSU Ag Center poultry unit? Well, thank you, Miss Henny Penny. Now back to you guys at the studio. Oh, oh yes, thank you. We're out of time. Stay classy. Louis Cafe, open 24 hours, now taking Tiger Cash. Welcome back, everybody, as we are now to the part of the show where Bat and I pick our winners for the biggest and most exciting NFL games, along with potential fantasy studs. Bat, let's hear it. Well, my first big game just so happens to be this Thursday's opening game of the season as the Broncos look for redemption against the Super Bowl champion Ravens. Tell you what, I think they're going to tear them to pieces. Um, you know, for my pick, I got 49ers against the Packers. Like I said, bias, I'm going to go with the Packers. They just, they just got a lot going for them. They're going to stop Kaepernick this time, unlike in the divisional game. All right, guys. Well, that's just about it right now for, uh, uh, for Cold Pizza. Thanks, guys, for watching. You can check us out every week at this same time on Camp.